Hey, hi, welcome to Abby's Den, everybody. It's lovely to have you back. How exciting is this? The screen's showing up there. How is everybody? It's lovely to see you again. I've been away for a couple of days, busy, busy, doing all sorts of things, making a cat quilt. I don't know if you've been on Instagram and had a look. Jazz has been busy, but where are you hiding? Hiding over there. Look what I got, Jazz, today. I know, there's two. I don't know if you can two. see them on the... We've got room. two boxes from... Um, and you can't see because I've not put the box the right way around. Where is it? This can you see it on there? there? Oh, that there one is. says it. It's messing up my camera. It's my... Baby lock. So you've seen the video, the reviews on the Juki. You know I love my Juki machines. I absolutely do. They're brilliant. And um, Baby lock got in touch. And they sent me a machine. And I said, okay. So we went to visit them yeah. in Harrogate. And they saw, did they say? Yes, Instagram. on on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Instagram. Go and watch, uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, Abby's Den on Instagram. Um, we've got some giveaways as well. Got all sorts going on. This is going to be a short stream because I thought we'd come back again at six. Yeah. This is because I've got a couple of things to do, but I wanted to just let you know, we're going to be doing our live advents from six o'clock yeah. every day. We're going to try and stick to six. We're hopeless. Through Christmas. Through Christmas, 25 days of Christmas. Um, we haven't got a lot of giveaways, but what we have got to give away, ah, oh, just nice stuff. And you've seen that great big juki that we're giving away. That is a dream machine for anybody. Even if you have got an overlocker, chuck that one. You're going to want this one. Um, okay, so what we're doing is, I'm going to take these out of the boxes. Yeah. I thought you guys can be watching while we do this. Whilst rather we're open them. While we They've just... been sat in our corridor since two o'clock. Two o'clock? Oh. I think so. I've just had a busy afternoon. Well, tidying up, tidy. Don't tell anyone, but it's so messy in here. This this room has been tidied up. Madam over there said you cannot continue like this, Mum. So um, she's made me tidy up. Yeah, I've got fine. to be organised. You can actually see things. Uh, well, you said you could see the floor now. Yeah, I know. I think it's more the floor. There's usually just lots of cables and all the cameras. Anyway, I'm not going to tell you which machines are in here because I do know which, I know I've got one, which one, what, uh, the one, but then the other one um, was just amazing. And I said to uh, Mike, the guy, and Katie, I want to say big thank you to Katie. I don't know if Katie's watching, but massive thank you to Katie, who is brilliantly helpful on the day. So if you ever do get to the baby lock stands or get to meet them in the dealers, uh, definitely say hi to Katie from me. Just say you saw uh, her. Done. Yeah, Abby's done. She's a very new sewer. Do you remember she easy. said? She started in 2019, did she? Yeah, during the COVID so, yeah, crisis. Yeah, she started before COVID and now she's working with, um, with Baby Lock. Baby Lock. And she's teaching she us. She's yeah, she was she's teaching, teaching me some stuff. I mean, I didn't know. I'd, I, to be honest, the Baby Lock machines are a little bit just a little bit different from other machines yeah. and we're talking a different machine I mean you can see that I don't know if you can see but I've got all sorts of overlockers I've worked with uh, how many oh so many different brands and models but I've never really worked with um, an air threader mm. I've repaired them but not the air threading side but repaired overlockers and serviced them yeah. but this is a but game these changer are cool. these are cool I'm hesitating because I keep forgetting where this is. So yeah. Jazz is going to be the producer. She's going to make sure all... Because we, we, we played with technology. So make it this camera so we can see from this side. So you can see either that one. Right. So we've got two machines there. People are saying th things. People are saying things. Oh, they are saying Let's things. say hello to everybody. Who's with us today? So... Who have we got? Matthew was our first one that said hello. 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 Straight in. No messing. Hello, hi, good Abby. evening. Christine said hi, Abby. Mitchell, hi, Abby. Haven't caught a live in a while. I'm being sneaky and watching while I work. Oh my god. Good, so good, good. Just <laughs> make sure your boss doesn't. Are sleep. we? Are we? Um, which camera are we on? Uh, that one. Now. Should we go for the overhead one and then everybody can see me while you're talking in the background? They can see me unboxing and can see which. Machines I've got in here. All right, go for it. 
All right. And then, then we've got Lynn. Lynn McDonald, who said, hi, Abby and Dad. Hello. They can't, I don't think they can hear me as much because you've got the microphone. Do you want me no, to I, give you the microphone? No, no, it's like you keep it on. Okay. But I'm telling you, you say hello. Maybe we need to get another one. Mary Brothers, hi, Abby. First time watching live. You helped me make my first Zebra zipper pouch. Oh, <gasps> thanks. Amazing! And how did it go? Was it a good pouch? Are we happy with it? Did it all work? <laughs> JK Sewing Jamila. Hi Abby and Jazz, the first live. I've been binge watching in the last few days. Oh! <laughs> what have you been watching? Binge watching Abby's Den. Yeah, but which video? Yeah, I don't watch the old ones. I cringe, I cringe, I cringe, I cringe. Baby Lock are wonderful. Are they? Who was that? Who's that? Adele Seaman. Oh, right. Okay. Hi, Adele. So, which overlocker have you got? Oh. Um, I'm going to need your help, I think, with this. Do you have to pull it open? Yeah. Can I take this one off the table? First? I think we should. Do you know which one's which? I don't. I don't. I know I've got it lots. Say the, the, does that, is that it? So... No. No, no, no. That, that's I think, how it came. I think that's how it travelled over uh, overseas. Okay. Right, okay. So if you hold it up, I'll pull No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's going down to the floor. Okay. Do I you think... want me to be the one to pull it up? We've got it. Yeah. I think it creates a vacuum when it's just a tight fit. It creates I hope I haven't done anything. Right. right, we can give this to the cats now. So right, I think we need to change the camera because they can't, any people can't see what's on there, they can just see my table. There you go, they can see you from this one. So can you see the name of the box? Ooh, it's the acclaim. I'm not kidding. Okay, I'm not kidding, but this is the machine we played with. Do you remember Katie? Katie played with this machine, showed us all sorts. I remember that piece that fell off the front. I felt so embarrassed. Oh, yeah, that's that one. It's that one. <laughs> it's, and it's um, a pretty machine. It's a really nice machine. We're going to open it. I like the writing that they've, they've chosen. It's like with the other one as well that they have. What's that? Someone. They claim. It's got to keep an eye on the time. Keep an eye on the time. Yeah. I'm not going to be too long. So do we need to go to the up, up thing? So you guys can see what we're getting getting out of the box. Um, Victoria McFarlane said hello. Hi, Victoria. How are you? You having a good evening? Myra said hello. Myra's name is Green. Why is Myra's name Green? Myra's name is Green because she's a member. <gasps> so thank you to our members. We have uh, Myra. Anybody else there? We don't have a great membership. Um, can I just go to that camera? I'm just going to say uh, today a big, massive thank you to everybody who's either a member through the YouTube channel or you might be a coffee subscriber, so you give me a regular coffee every month. Honestly, it's people like you who actually help me continue running the channel. So if you're not, um, uh, you know, these machines they come to me for free they don't pay my heating bill they don't buy me a coffee they don't do anything for me I might travel up to places like Harrogate costs us a pretty penny and you know when we're traveling up around learning new things and it's for everyone's benefit so any of you who do support me and, and um, put a penny in the pot really really does help subscribe well, she's a member. Is she? So becoming a member on the channel is really amazing. Subscribing is amazing. Just even leaving comments or liking is really good support. So thank you to everybody who does that. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> Was that a little bit, a little bit uh, funny? Should we get back to the machine? Yes. <laughs> Let's get back to the machine. Sorry. So I can tell you what this is because I do remember it from uh, last time. This is a trim bin. This is so cool, and I remember um, being impressed by somebody who bought that. So this is a little hole in which a little bag goes, and you can just catch all your rubbish in there, and um, that's amazing. What is that? They're being nice. Oh, they're all lovely. I don't know what you're saying, but thank you. <laughs> 
So we've got our instructions, as I always say, instructions are the most important part. Mm. Have a cup of tea, coffee, with a slice of cake, of course, Jasmine makes a wicked cake. If you ever get to come and visit us one day, she'll make a cake for you, that's a promise. Is it a promise? Yeah, it can be. A <laughs> <laughs> I've made the promise for her. Um, instructions on how to use it. Oh, quick guide. I've seen these you know in the shops. It looks like though. I don't want to be cheeky. Be but cheeky. It, it looks be like. Be cheeky. Um, we promised them we were going to be as honest as we want to be. I don't know be. if you guys go on Ryanair, but it looks like. Oh, the. <laughs> You know what I it's mean? not right. Is it Ryanair colours? Yeah, and it just sort of is laid out in that sort of. It's way. like how to save yourself if the flight starts yeah, going a no, bad. taking a nosedive. Um, these are overlocker feet package with the overlock machines. Should we have a look? Should we have a quick look? It's, yeah, it's yeah, very pretty. Wisdom, I'd be lost. One, two, three, four. Five, six feet. Oh, do you know it's not even? Oh, it's not kidding. That. Without your wisdom, you Without are your quite, wisdom, not my, my wisdom. wisdom. My wisdom. My oh, wisdom. Bye, Myra. I try to share my wisdom with Pete every day. He just looks at me as if I'm nagging him. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Dad I said that. So we've got different feet here. We have. I don't know which way I am. Um, elastic foot, bead foot, piping foot, two types of piping feet, uh, you blind temper. Well, you can do that on there, turning it 180 if you do transform. Yeah, I will. Thank you. So that's different feet. <laughs> um, I love these accessories bags. This yeah. is my favourite part. I love seeing what's in there. The loop wire. So you know when your threads sometimes get stuck going through the um, air threading, yeah. you get a piece of wire which you can feed through the system. Mm -hmm. right. These are very nice. Foam covered um, felt, uh, foam covered yeah, lids on your, on your threads. Oh. Yeah, that would be good actually. It helps the tension on the, oh gosh, look how many you get. Oh. You get some that are not foam covered. Oh. Well. oh, so you get option of foam covered. Oh, do you know what? This is what we were talking about, actually, because we were saying what sort of, because we asked Katie, what equipment does it come with? Yeah. And she was holding this screwdriver and you were sort of asking, uh, you know, does it come with a little mini version? And she goes, no, it comes with this. With a proper screwdriver. Yes. Not one of those fiddly little ones that you just can't do anything with. I'm guessing that's the cover. I'm going to leave these for a minute. You all know what these look like. So that's quite cool. But look at these nets, aren't these huge? So I'm guessing you can cut them to size, but we won't do anything yet. The Allen key, obviously for changing needles. Thank you, Jazz. Jazz has been my help, helper. We've got our foot pedal, standard foot pedal. There we go. I'm not gonna say it looks like the Juki one. <laughs> I won't say that. Right. Da, da, da. Here we go. There we are. Shall we flip the um, camera while I pull this one out? Well, Shall we go for the front one? Yeah, I like do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this box to the floor. Mm. I need to work out how heavy these are because they're not light. Uh, Combined, the, the parcels came at 27 kilograms with the two... So they're about... Uh, so would you say... Oh, my word. Is that heavy? That's probably 10 kilo heavy. Really? I would say so, because I can't lift 10 kilo. Look at that. <laughs> I go rock climbing. I can lift myself. And, uh, and that's it. Just a little bit. Is that how you... I do, I get up there and I've got a scrape on my arm oh, from last nice. week's where I um, missed my footing. That was so impressed because I managed to get right up. Look at this beauty. Should I, um, I'm just going to pull the camera down a bit so I can see. Look at this beauty. Now, like I said in the description, um, you know, Baby Lock saw me playing with the Juki and I played with the Juki in a couple of shops and I fell in love with it. 
treated myself to one and Juki had been amazing looking after me. Um, you know, with because I ring them up and I go, um, you know, when there's something wrong, I go, oh, what have I done here? Yeah. Or how can I do, 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 do what's the best way I can do this or that? And they're phenomenal. And uh, I think Baby Lock wanted to say, you think they're good? Come and have a look at this. So that's what this is all about. So I love this about this machine. I didn't notice that in the last one. So we thought that was the accessories box. It's not. This because one. look. Oh my God. Do you know they're like, they're like, it's like a gift that keeps giving, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, um, it's like a, no, I was going to say like a little makeup box with all these compartments. Well, that, know, we it? know what she's going to use it for. Tweezers. We've got tweezers. We've got, oh, our uh, angel threader. Oh, uh, yeah. Th uh, what was it? A thread angel. Yeah. We, they used that was... Katie used that <gasps> what? That's what's the thing about this machine. Yeah. It's got the air threading needles. Mm. I've not done any, uh, uh, I should have prepared this. What's this? Put your glasses on. It's the needle threader. You put your glasses on. Put needle threader. What a neat box inside. That's for chocolates. <laughs> it is for chocolates. Allen key. What do you say? A tiny Allen little brush. Okay. I always think these little brushes are. What do you do with all funny. the overlockers? Are you a teacher or sell them after? Um, I started off, started off, um, as a teacher. Shall I give them my boring history? Years ago, um. I was just a busy mum, four children, and I used to visit Grammy a lot. And then they grew up, lost Grammy, and I just had a lot of time on my hands. So I slowly just became a teacher and realised that people, no one knew about overlockers, really understood. I mean, people knew about overlockers, but didn't really know how to use them and get the best out of them. And people were only using them to uh, cut edges off. And I've had an overlocker for... Uh, so many years, 20 something years, and I bought my first overlocker because I wanted to go to an event and I made lots of sarongs. I got saris, turned them into sarongs. I went to a festival and I think I made 200 sarongs, sold them all in that weekend, just doing a pretty rolled hem on this chiffon sari and these beautiful things. And then, so, and when I'm thinking, all these people are making school costumes, plays. With four kids you can imagine how many costumes I've made, how many clothes I've made over the years. Um, so I became a teacher mm -hmm. and I'm also an engineer, I've got a degree in engineering. Grammar. You're bored of it. So that's what happened and then I just want to, I just think it's ridiculous, people are paying a lot of money to go on day courses to learn how to do a letter for lettuce edge. Well, it's great coming away with a little sample of a lettuce edge. Where do you apply it? And nobody was teaching anyone where to apply it or what to use it for. What is the point of having an overlocker just to cut off the edge? But So we started making projects. But somebody said, didn't they? They said, I live in Wales. I need a video being made. No, or something. Oh, that was you right. To do oh, so how I got into YouTube was there was a lady up the road who d just didn't know how to use her sewing machine. So I started teaching her. The only way I could get the video to her was through YouTube. Yeah. You, one of you guys said was that to me. Was she up the road or was she in Wales? She, in Stockport. Oh, no, there was a lady who came all the way from Wales to one of my... Um, Charity events. And I was. didn't realise people knew me. And then suddenly, uh, boring. Anyway, so that's what we do. We teach, we fix, we keep, we hoard, and we don't share. <laughs> but we like to share information. So that's the first one. Have I got time to open the other one, just to see what, what it is? Yeah, I mean, what? Yeah. Shall we? Before you rush off? Yeah, I mean, you can continue without me if you want. I can't continue without you. Oh, you I'm can. lost without you. I'll take that. I'm lost without her. Don't you all think Jazz is the best? She's the best. She keeps saying nobody wants to watch her. Nobody comes to watch her. They don't. They come to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They come to watch you. You don't like her. Right, let's get this other box up. Right, I don't think I'm going to lift that box up on yeah, the table. Yeah, just put it here and then they know that you've not opened it yet. Yeah, so... Um, oh, you've got an opportunity to tell your joke. Oh, we're, we're storing our jokes for the Christmas countdown. I'm going to tell them then. 
Yeah. Um, okay, well. We have to keep our jokes. So, I don't know if you guys have been to the um, Christmas live before. <laughs> This is a lovely Lauren who packs these. I spoke to her today just to... I don't know if she packs them. Got a lot of packages in there. This oh machine... Gosh, this machine's a lot smaller. <laughs> right. Now, they've sent me bump because I said to them, well, you know what? You want me to learn about these machines? Send me everything you've got. So they have... They've sent me lots of information Whoa. here. What? What's that? What's you that? You open that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I've got, oh, a bit. Oh, this is so sweet. They've given me a baby lock pen. Some promo stuff, a pin cushion. Oh, okay. The bribe in minna. What's this? Uh, oh, shopping trolley release. Is it? Pens. Sense. How sweet. It's like a little uh, hung giraffe. Well, you put this in the shopping trolley. Well, it says it's a shopping trolley Baby thing. Look, it's always with you. Shopping trolley release. Ah. How cute. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And I've got some threads. Because I said, well, if you want me to some. use... Oh. One. Two. <laughs> three. Oh, you know what it is? Um, I like sparkly stuff. Yeah. I like sparkly stuff and I said to them, do you have any sparkly thread? And I, I like the variegated stuff, oh my which, God. right? Do, we, do you want to do that on the overhead? Yeah, okay. I don't mind showing them close up here because you can see it better with this camera. So this is a shiny black camera. And then there's a whole box full of shiny of shinies and like so this is exclusive shinies. to you guys so you you i'm looking up there so um exclusive to you guys watching so you get to learn all about all the different traits is that what it's called no, oh no i don't know what it's called you if pick i it out was the bag. to name it it would be candy cane it would be candy cane oh that's beautiful what is that is that a bulky thread oh, do you know because you were saying about the thicker thread that it can go through thicker was that was that with this machine? i think i think they really want to prove to me that their machines are amazing and if i think their machines are amazing i will say so if i don't i did say to them if i don't i won't um i'm going to get this box out can we see what it is What's that? I'm going to go. You're gonna, are you going to go? Yeah, I need to go. Look, okay. I'll be back. I'll probably only be 10 minutes. Okay. So just continue. No. <laughs> and I'll be back. I'm actually only going to be 10 minutes. I'm but... so scared of my own. <laughs> well, I can't read. I'm going to be honest. I can't read the comments because I've had to put my laptop all the way over there. Um, before he comes downstairs he's not yeah I was going to wish him good luck it's my son's first day at work he's uh, got himself a part-time job so you'll plant a Hoya Abbey which one? Oh, these these ones behind us they're uh, all we have no idea <laughs> I think they're plastic ivy plastic ivy the plastic ones but we have got my son was disgusted at the fact that I bought plastic plants I am so ashamed. You you can't believe how ashamed I am. Um, and my son was disgusted and he said, he called me today and he says, Mum, have a look at these cuttings. Such a botan bot botanist, botanist. And he's um, taken some cuttings from his um, monsteria. Was it his monsteria? Um, I think it was. I think so, yeah. And he's showing me how they've taken root. So... All that I always he's got a lovely plant shop near him, Ruffy. Mm. He's got this beautiful plant shop near him that's like all glass. It's in the middle of Manchester and it's all glass and then just two floors of just plants. Is this the pink shop you were telling No, th this is a different one. I've been to a pink plant shop and it's very like hip and indie, but there's just lots of girls in there taking photos for Instagram. But the ones that uh, my older brother's been to, they're really cool as well. It's like an apartment, but you just pick whatever plants. 
That is very cool. Amazing. Well, yeah, he's Manchester he's really got a green thumb, hasn't he? Yeah, he, he did not inherit that from him. I've taught he's him quite stuff. Funny. He likes cooking and plants, and he's very um. His, his he's made music. success. <laughs> he's made a successor of the skills that I have not been able to pass down. So, like you can bake. Well, I mean, we've we I've been teaching them baking since they were tiny tots. You know, when they were in their high chairs, and they would sit there with the mixing spoon, more slobbering all over it. And so they've managed to pick up skills. Um, this, but I'm gonna. I don't know what to do now because I'm gonna have to. If you keep coming over here to swap the camera. I'm going to put you on the overhead camera. This one's got a bit of a ding to it. I hope the machine's all right. I do worry when, when they're not, when they've got a ding in them. But it was in the box. That's the box that I had. Oh, I hope she's not mixing all these up because if, if she's mixing all these threads up, I won't know which one came from where. Hmm. Hmm. Right, let's have a look at this one. Does this say what it is? No. Now the thing about the baby lock machines as well is that they give you a two plus two year guarantee. Uh, does it say it on this one? I'm gonna flip it up so they can see. It's a two plus two year guarantee on there. And you can also register for it to be a longer guarantee, which is amazing. Um, a lot of people I do see on forums that they don't, uh, if they have a problem with their machine, they don't go back to the company. And I just want to, you know, I spoke to um, the guys at Baby Lock and I said, you know, what, what's happening there? Why, why are people paying for a service when they've got the guarantee? And, this, and, they, and they're up, they don't know why. So if you have a Baby Lock, why, you know, make sure you do go back. To, oh, good luck. I'm going to say good luck. I'll be back in a second. Good luck. Yeah. Oh, you look good. You look good. It looks good. Thanks, Jazz. Right, I'm back. Okay, so yeah, if you've got a <laughs> baby lock machine or any other machine, think about its warranty. Go back to the company. That's what they're there for. They love the feedback. They want to know how their machines are doing in people's homes, how you're getting on with them, how you're using them. Don't be shy. And that's what we're here for, me and Jazz. We work really hard together to try and make sure that the company's behaving themselves. You know, we want to support you, make sure that everyone's getting a good deal. Now, I'm gonna just carefully pull this out. This is not easy to pull out. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me struggling. Oh my goodness. Right, it's not as heavy as the other one. This one is the Inspire. It's a lot smaller, the box. Let's have a look. I've got to be careful I don't mix up the two boxes. So I'm going to just move these threads out of the way. It's so exciting to have this opportunity because I've been waiting for a long time. Um, that's bump I'm going to take to bed with me. <laughs> Just going to read later. The instruction and reference guide. So again, take your time, read the instructions, make sure you know what you're doing before you start fiddling because all sorts of things can happen and go wrong uh, with machines like this. Um, so it's really important to make sure you really gem yourself uh, gem up on these things. Okay, so we've got the accessories. I think this is exactly the same as the one from the Acclaim. So you've got your uh, spool caps, a nice proper sized screwdriver. You know, not these fiddly little things. Uh, you've got your nets in there, which you can see. You've got your looper wire in there. Hopefully I'm not going to need them. Hopefully I won't have any problems at all with the machine. We have our pedal as well. And, and here's a piece of resistance. Okay, should we swap cameras? Let's swap cameras. <laughs> if you saw the state of this floor now, I think that's the one. 
Okay, so that's the claim here. I think, have I got that right? I think I'm going to have to tilt this a little bit. Ross, my producer. And I have here, let's just loosen that packet up a little bit so we can pull. This is a lot lighter. <laughs> Definitely handle all this one. Now, this is the biggest seller. As far as I know, this is the popular one. The, let's leave that for a minute. So the Inspire is the popular one. This is the, their, you know, the one that goes um, a lot more with costumers. Um, people who like to fiddle. I'll show you now. Now... Having a look at these two machines, there's an obvious difference. Apart from the size, of course. I mean, look at the size difference. It's like a baby machine, isn't it, sitting next to this? But the price point, they're just completely different. So this is an, a lot more affordable range. Now, the, the other obvious difference is the tension, okay? You can see on here, you don't have any tension dials on this machine, whereas you do on this. And the reason this... Uh, is a popular machine, I was told, is because of those tension dials, people can fiddle with them and alter them. And if you're a costumer, for example, it's something that you're going to want to do because you're playing with all sorts of different types of fabric. Now, with um, working with lots of different types of fabric, if you saw my Instagram post with Katie, I was absolutely blown away when I... I um, um, put through four layers of thick denim, so baby lock guys, Katie gave me, you know, she gave me a piece of denim and I was just about to feed it to her and she says, oh no, give the machine a challenge and she folded it up into four for me and then immediately uh, from there we put organza through and the tension was perfect on both of them. Now the thing is, these are great immediately off the rack. You know, as they come off the conveyor belt, they work beautifully, don't they, machines? But the challenge is, after a little bit of use and, you know, constant working with them and playing with them, are they still giving us a good result? And you'll find that they should do. Um, Prices-wise, I should have done a little bit of checking, but um, we're looking... They're both well over the 1,000. I mean, this one, I think, is around 1,900 can't tell you how much the Inspire was because um, I didn't do any reading. I'm going to look at the comments. Let's have a look at what people are saying, what you guys are saying. Um, boom. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so <laughs> let's have a look. So um, Myra's run off. Uh, are the phone ones to sit reels on? No, the foam ones, you'll put the foam caps, somebody asked, you'll put them on. It'll probably be the slipperier fabric. Um, you know, when they slip down, um, you, you, you're just giving it a bit more support. I have had my overlocker for 20 years. Uh, could it be time to change? I hope Santa gets my request. Oh, fingers crossed for this one. Abby, what do you do with all? Oh, right, Sophie asked. So I hope I answer that question i do um sell them on occasionally but as you can see not always not always um and then i open the curtains and then i find there are two on the windowsill and then look under the table and there's one there um let's see jasmine is a darling i iron that paper and use it to make patterns oh that's a good idea this paper here the one that now i can't see the floor again um, is that a plant? Oh yeah, sorry about the plant. It's fake. Uh, it costs nothing for design trialing patterns. Uh, thread is gorgeous. No, two machines because obviously they think you guys are going to be blown away by the baby locks, and they. I think what it is is I do challenge the machines, and I like to, and I will be in touch with the lovely Katie and at Baby Lock and I'll say, you know, give me something challenging to do. Give me some ideas of what they do. Monsteras are great. Um, let's see. 
and Lee's going uh, from coming a GA. How many machines do I have? I don't know if I should say <laughs> too many. Um, Overlocker wise, I have too many. But these baby locks, um, like I said, these baby locks are quite pricey and I can't always um, afford to buy them myself because I don't have a massive budget. So when you guys support me through coffee and, you know, the, the odd pennies that come in through um, donations, the, off, uh, the odd membership fees. So we don't have a huge membership and I don't have a huge coffee membership, but it keeps me going spiritually. Is that wrong? Um, because I know there are people there who genuinely enjoy uh, the shows the lives and the videos so any support that you can give to the channel is amazing um, but the companies are fantastic I think they do take this channel as a credible channel and they do respect the fact that I will be honest with all my ideas and opinions I am not going to say I love this machine if I don't love it if I don't love something about something I will you know, I might just say I don't prefer that piece, a part about it, or, you know, uh, there's a, a question mark over something this machine might do. But if I don't love something, um, I'm not going to endorse it. So I try to keep as honest and fair and, and definitely open-minded because you guys like to choose. It's like cars, you know, you can't say this is the best car. You've got to have this car or you must have this phone or you must have this da 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 Everybody likes, it's horses for courses, isn't it? Everybody wants their own something. Um, as for these machines, I have to uh, play with them. I'm gonna have to play with them. I think the one thing that I want, I am looking forward to, should we just change the angle for a minute? Let's see. Because I wasn't planning on sticking around for a long time, actually, because I just thought I would just unbox these machines. The things that I'm looking forward to is playing with them and seeing what what's special about them. What is special about the baby locks? What what do people love about them? Why do people swear by them? I think the time that I played with them at Harrogate and in the you know the two shops I did and you know the ones I've seen, they run so smoothly and quietly. But there are features on here um, that are just really good. Now I don't want to unclip that, but. How did it unclip? It unclips. Uh, right, let's not do things. Let's not do things, but apparently I can unclip the tension thing at the back, not the tension thing, but the thread holder clip. And it comes away really easily and it helps to make sure I threaded up the machine properly. There is a wave stitch. Does this one do a wave stitch as well? I don't think this one does, but it has a wave stitch. This machine, the Acclaim, it has A, B, C, D. Does it have a wave as well? So on the side it has A, A is four thread overlock, B is three thread overlock. Um, is that with the left needle? And then we've got the rolled hem, the automatic rolled hem. And then we have the wave, is that right? Something like that, something like that. Um, but again, I have to play with it. It's been a couple of weeks since I had a proper, uh, since I had a play with it at the shop. It's got the automatic threading, it's got a threading angel. So if you're threading your needles, it has an, it's, okay. The jet threading, the jet air threading needle, the needle air threading system. So the needle air threading system, I'll get it right in the end, is a patented device to baby lock, which means no one else will have this device for a while so it's it's just it's only baby lock who have this now a few years ago baby lock were the only ones who had the air threading license the patent was with baby lock for the air threading in this system a couple of years ago that air threading um uh, patent was finished closed i don't know what the term is but it meant that it was access all areas. So everybody now has access to it. So you will hear um, all sorts of companies have air threading. So Janome had an air threader out a few years now. So their air threading, 
3,000, not 3,000, the Etheredo 2000. So that one's been out for a while. But with that one, that is, is that machine here? It's the 6234XL machine with the bolt-on air threading. So it's the same machine as the 6234, but it has an air threading system. Now that is straight from the horse's mouth. That's what I was told by Janome. And to be honest and fair with you, you know, that's fine. If that's what they're doing, that's what they're doing. So it's just an overlocker. Now the 6234 from Janome is a really good machine. I had the 634D for many, many years. That was my overlocker that I had, that I was telling you about uh, 20 odd years ago. It's there on my shelf. It's still going strong. It's a really good machine. So what they've done is the air threading is they've just added the air threading mechanism to it. With Brother, they have the Airthreader 3000 coming. Now they were launched, they launched it back in August, still not made itself um, available to the wider public. Now I want to mention Fabric Mouse here. I've got to move this box because Jazz is coming back. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> So Brother have bought the um, Air Threader 3000 overlocking machine. That was released back in August, I'm repeating myself, but they don't have any in stock anywhere. Now they said uh, they were releasing it any day and I believe shops have been taking orders. I rang around at least 10 different shops up and down the country and three of them were happily going to take a uh, payment off me which I would say is rather naughty. Now, if you're taking a payment off me, not knowing when that machine's available and then promising that it will be in on Monday, which one of them did the following Monday, and this is many weeks ago, I think that's naughty because when I rang brother up and I spoke to a source there, I was told that they would be lucky to be seeing them around springtime. And I know Fabric Mouse was saying they reckon end of January, but, if brother are telling me springtime, and fabric mass is telling me January, who knows? And shops are telling me next week, who knows? I just don't think they'll be around for Christmas. So if anyone's thinking about waiting or hanging around for a brother, I wouldn't hold my breath. The other thing about the brother one is it's no different. It's 899, it's very, very cheap for an air threader, which is great. That's what we want. Hello, Mittens, Mittens has joined us. It's eight nine nine for an air threading overlocker. Hello, gorgeous. Have you woken up? Um, but with that price, you know, you're thinking, well, what, what am I going to get for that price? You're getting just a standard brother overlocker with the bolt-on air threading system. When I was with Fabric Mouse, it worked, but um, it wasn't really pushed. In fact, I mean, I was there on the second day and uh, Stuart hadn't even really touched the machine at all. And he, he admitted it to me at that point. He said, no one's really interested in, and he's not even looked at it. And none of the brother staff were even st standing around it. It's their newest machine and none of them are bothered. And that just, you know, and then when I worked with brother, they, you know, they really raved on about the machines they wanted to push. So if they weren't around that machine and they weren't interested in that machine and promoting it, then why are we wanting to buy it? I will get my hands on one though, and I will demonstrate it. <laughs> so as soon as it's out, I'm going to get myself a copy if I can. Um, so, but that's not what it's about. What we're doing is we're looking at the bigger machines, the more expensive ones, and we're going to, is it fair to say mittens that we're gonna rival Juki with Baby Lock? No, I don't think so. It's like saying to somebody, you should have an Aston Martin over a Bentley over a Rolls Royce. Now, just a tip here. When people say to me, this is a Rolls Royce of the sewing machines, I always think, oh, mittens? <laughs> he lost his footing. But he's in as well. He's in. Uh, when people say to me, that's a Rolls Royce of machines, I always laugh, shouldn't laugh, right. because Rolls Royces aren't that awesome. They're luxurious cars, but they're not sporty, really. So, yeah. We're looking for 